Guys, here I'm gonna be showing you how to solo dungeons with Goro. Now, Goro is not too hard for fruit, so it should be relatively easy. So yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, help the channel out. And right now, I'm hosting a PvP tournament for Goro, which is the dungeon I'm doing right now. Um, a PvP tournament. So yeah, make sure you join my Discord server and i'll keep people info i'll keep you guys info on how you can join so yeah so my stats so 70 stamina as long as you have 650 you're good 20 so you can obviously get but i would prefer to have rokushiki a cpa to get it and then as long as i have over a thousand defense i'm fine and happy and then 821 i i've done some calculations again which is so much stress and uh, it should realistically be a bit more but this can like get you far to like wave 20 and like leave the bosses like relatively like one shot i'm pretty sure you can like if you know what you're doing at least like i can like put them extremely you know so yeah i'm just gonna skip to the boss wave now uh, for the early rounds if you have the npcs coming towards the middle and there's a gunner user on the side you can use that like, any move to kill it and then wait for your cooldown but if not like all of them are coming to the middle i suggest you use flash mash this even applies to everything even going up to wave 20 but not higher than wave 20 please do not use flash mash for like killing npcs about wave 20 because you're gonna regret it so yeah let me just you know kill this guy and i'll show you exactly what you need to do so as soon as you kill this boss a person here you want to back up a here jump high in the air like that now the reason for this because like you know, it's, it gets kind of cluttery, you can't really see what you're doing. So, you need to be ready to be high. And then throw it like that. And then just chuck your moves out. Just keep on pounding at it. Don't let them get up. <laughs> just keep on beating them down, basically. Yeah, like that. Exactly what I've done. Even the PK user, like, they have so much stun that they can't do anything. So, <clears throat> since... So exactly what you want to do is you want to thunder greeting and then you just want to after you've done the thunder green you want to use lightning wrath lightning dragon and then flash mash since it was a pk user they tend to dodge the lightning wrath which means you could, you're only going to hit them with the lightning dragon and flash mash but yeah so to dodge the one sword style users uh you know i'll skip to it because i won't really pay any attention so yeah, like I was saying, you want to thunder greeting, then lightning wrath, then lightning dragon, then flash mash. Like it's it's kind of hard to pull off on a PK user because they mirror kick straight away compared to like Mero and he ain't not doing anything. So yeah, observation hockey would be really helpful in this scenario. So yeah, all right. So to avoid these users, you want to super get them four times. One, two, three, four fall till they unblock the jump and then hold flash mash up like this you cannot do this past wave 20 or you're dead because it does not have hyper armor and then after you fall you jump and then you know you're lightning wrath um and what's it you don't always have to you know lightning wrath you can lightning dragon if you want and then even flash mash as long as it's not past like wave 15 20 because you know flash mash could be risky so yeah I'm gonna show this method one more time because I didn't even show off that well. So <clears throat> I'm gonna wait till they, you know, come relatively close, not too close, or they're gonna block up again before they all come to the center. So super capable one, two, three, four, drop to the unblock, jump again, and then after you jump again, hold flash match upwards. You can look around for a bit or even aim it downwards, but if you're too high like me right now, it's not gonna hit them. So you need to be careful. But you probably really want to flash mash on wave 9 because flash mash is like the least important move you're going to use to kill the bosses. And you don't even have to flash mash if there's like a bazooka user like this. So I'm just going to skip to the next boss wave. So we're about to get on to the next boss wave. After you kill this, remember you want to jump up, you want to get a bit back like this, you know, just so you could dodge like the ice stomp or whatever. And then throw it as soon as you basically see a uh, next wave. So one, two, and then throw, and then like that. You want to jump in the air, and then just keep on chucking your moves. See like that. What the hell? Better say me anyway. Because Thunder Green paralyzes them a bit. So Mera here uses a pretty screwed. So you don't need to worry too much about like not you know chucking it in time. But trust me, Observation Hockey will 
really help like it's so hard to see half the time when you're throwing so you just have to rely on the red cursor but with observation archie you can just see through it and like it just helps a lot so okay again on the boss wave remember to jump far back not too far back just far enough so that you know you're out of the range of here eye stomp and all that and then as soon as you see next wave you basically just throw it and then wait for them to land and then you use your thing what okay just didn't work why is it? I'm just gonna end one here like this <laughs> why am I such a barker anyway just gonna keep an M1 in it since I missed my I missed my lightning wrath because you know it's, it's super hard to see so that's what I'm saying just get if you get observation hockey it'll be a lot easier you know it's not a must have but you know it'll make the process a lot easier because I completely missed my lightning wrath and, and then after I got hit by the flame pillar so yeah uh, I'll show the technique one more time just to show you it works some layer waves like these so one two three four drop jump and hold flash mash up you, you can look around for a bit but you know just be wary that you cannot hold flash mash forever which means if you're looking down and the cooldown runs out you're pretty screwed and then and rough so yeah i'm just gonna skip to wave 20 we all know what to do here Okay, so getting onto the wave bef just before the boss wave. Remember, this is the last time you're going to use this method. After wave 20, is a different method. So we're just going to wait for them to come fairly close. The one source that was, uh, one source that was closer. One, two, three, four. Drop to the arm block, jump, and then hold flash mash upwards. And you can look around for a bit, but don't look down all the time, or you're going to flash mash downwards and you're pretty screwed. Then wait. And then after all be done and you just like it rough now if there's no bazooka users you're just gonna have to firm it and only go in with thunder green and lightning dragon but if there is bazooka users which most of the times they are then you can wait for cooldowns and just kill them with you know your weapon so yeah i'm just gonna skip this part of me okay so when at the boss wave remember you want to get a f you know good angle and then as soon as you see basically next wave clearing you want to throw it so that and then throw it like that and then hold your lightning raft like that and then electric power isolation i kind of missed that but oh it didn't let me move my use my move i kind of missed the lightning dragon a bit so it's still like on a sliver of health and yeah well it wasn't really the lightning dragon i missed the thunder green like it didn't well it's not really missed because if you throw it too late, then the peak user is going to get out. So you can have to throw it preemptively, which means the second boss will tend to survive like the Lightning Rough and Lightning Dragon, which is why the extra stat points are there so that you can just, you know, do as much, much damage as you can. Okay, so since we're at wave 20 plus, they have Haki, which means you're going to have to change the technique a bit more because you know flash mash does not have hyper armor like light lunge which means if you get hit while you know you're stalling you're pretty screwed because you're gonna go into free fall so what you want to do is super get but three times not four one two three drop to the unblock jump twice and then flash mash hold it for like one or two seconds then go straight up and then hold lightning rough like that now since lightning rough does have you know hyper armor like that see look you're not gonna fall and then you should be fine and then since you've held a move for so long in the air, you can hold lightning dragon. Now that doesn't have hyper armor, which means you know you're gonna have to fall down and hope for the best that you was it used uh, electric dragon first hand, but I forgot to use it. So yeah, so <clears throat> I didn't use it too uh, quick enough. So I'll show this technique again. Don't worry. Okay, so showing off the technique again, this, <coughs> this time I'll use Lightning Dragon in time because my f I fat fingered. So just gonna wait till they get, you know, relatively close where you have to start super gapping. So one, two, three, four, drop a bit, jump, and then flash my straight away, and then Lightning Wrath. And since Lightning Wrath has high parama, you'll kill like the first like few of them. Wait till it runs out like that, and then spam jump, and then you can hold lightning dragon. Make sure you throw it like straight away, basically, because if you get hit by a bazooka user, you're falling down. Probably gonna get a 
Sukey. Yep. No surprise.